Guys, I'm going to take you through a couple of um, kettlebell exercises now. So the kettlebell is a great piece of kit to burn off the calories, improve your fitness, strengthen up your back, really start to work on the strength of the hamstrings, the bum, get that nice and toned, and work on kind of reducing lower back pain as well. But I see it done wrong time and time again. So I'm just going to put three or four little tips together to kind of help you with your own technique. So the first thing that I see is more of a squat swing. So I see this type of thing going on. Chest is up and the knees bend quite a lot. Now even though that's a really good exercise, it's not a kettlebell swing. So if you find yourself doing that, what I'd recommend is you just take yourself back towards the wall, reach one backwards, and then stand back up. Now you're aiming, try to keep your legs fairly straight, and feel some tension in here, your back stays straight and your chest comes up. When you start to do that, you can start to get this hinge effect where you're tipping forward of the hips. Now if you watch that into the swing, I'll start here, load, take the kettlebell back, you can see that hinge effect coming through. Now I'm starting to work on hamstring, bum, and lower back strength, rather than more, more kind of quad strength. That's kind of tip number one. So tip number two is all about the power of the snap. Now the kettlebell is quite a really fast dynamic movement. Um, but I see it done too slowly time and time again, so what I'm going to show you is a little drill that can help that. So first of all, this is how the swing would look done incorrectly. So as you can see, it's quite slow. So if I was going to perform a jump and squat, if I squat down and jump up as high as I can, if you look at my hips, you'll be able to see the hips snapping and going through. So let's look at how that drill affects the kettlebell swing. So obviously I'm not going to jump up in the air, but watch my hips. So now we can see that power coming through, open out the hip flexors, and working on the bum as well. So if you find you're not doing the kettlebell swing more uh, powerfully enough, try some jump squats and try and transfer that into your swing. Kind of the last point I want to mention um, is really just kind of the minor things. If you get the first few points correct, then your swing should start to improve massively and you should find the swing easier. The other thing you need to consider when you start to master those two is your head position, your breathing, and trying to get into a rhythm in the swing. So again, I'll show you a bad technique and then um, I'll show you how to correct it. So if you notice my head's looking forward all the time, the kettlebell's swinging down quite low and you can't hear me breathing. So what I'm going to do when I swing is look down at the floor as I table top, so my head's going to be in this position to keep my back and hamstrings nice and strong. I'm going to breathe out through my teeth at the bottom and also I'm just going to wait for the kettlebell and bring it in nice and high up the leg, which is going to stop me getting pulled forward. So it should look like this. If you notice my head follows the bell, I wait for it until the last minute and then drop. So I'm not letting it pull me down, I'm just working with the rhythm. And I'm breathing out quite audibly at the bottom. Once you master all of those points, you should find that your weight improves on the kettlebell swings and you get a much better quality of workout. If you do have any problems, get in touch and we can take it from there. Cheers guys.